uh, Saturday Night Live is coming back this weekend with Sam Rockwell, who we love. That's true. He's fun, and you yeah. were just named co-head writer. I'm like, congratulations. Yeah. This is A lot of people didn't know that I was even a writer on the show because none of my sketches make it to air. <laughs> so, but apparently, but apparently now, now I can. You're good enough, exactly. Now you're yeah. a co-head writer. My, my dream is to, to put through all of the sketches that they passed on. <laughs> I've wrote some just, bad, I wrote some bad stuff. Yeah, there. did you have one? Oh, I had thousands of bad ones. I just had to stop writing. It was just so, <laughs> it was always just awful. When it's a bad sketch, it's the worst because Everyone's, you can hear the pages turning. Yeah, it's, and it's, people read it's through. Brutal. Oh, and you know, there's eight more pages to go. Yeah, uh, and you're like steam. You're like sweating. You're just getting hot. You're like, Ooh, this is crazy. <laughs> I once uh, wrote a sketch about the richest black man in New York, Dwayne Reed. Nobody thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> a Dwayne, lot of <laughs> Dwayne Reed. There's no but, white Dwaynes. Yeah, that's right. No, there is not a white Dwayne. No. no. I wrote a sketch about the first black dude to boo Jackie Robinson. <laughs> Because <laughs> he wasn't a fan, just not a no, fan. No, yeah, it was a baseball play. But yeah, exactly. It yeah, had to still, be one. Yeah, there's got to be one person. Uh, are you, are you, is your family psyched that you, you got this job? My family's psyched. I think they're more psyched that I have a job <laughs> than the job that it is. They don't know what head writer means. They don't no. know. They don't care. They don't, they don't care about no, it? No, my brother texts me every Saturday at 11.30 and asks me, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm at work. He's like, well, when? I'm like, it's in the name of the show. <laughs> How do you Saturday know? night. <laughs> Saturday night I live. work at night you... on a Saturday. It's live. And it's live. <laughs> it's right there. That's hilarious. Do they, do they watch uh, the show and like, critique they do. their performance? They do. They watch the show all the time, and they have a lot of compliments for Colin. <laughs> they think Colin's great. <laughs> they love Colin Jost. They love Colin Jost. They don't think I'm um, the funniest person <laughs> in the family. <laughs> That's the greatest, yeah, really. I like the white dude. Yeah, oh, really, yeah. <laughs> uh, you just had a break. Did you go on vacation or anything? I just did a show for, in Atlanta for the national championship. Uh... <laughs> literally one person was yeah. just clapping just now. Was... Wow. You, you're not getting a ride home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was no, that? It was great. It was, uh, it was bad. It was bad. Wait, what do you mean? Well, I, did, I performed for the football teams, and there's a lot of restrictions. You can't talk about uh, race, you can't talk, you can't curse, you can't talk about politics, you can't... It, it's, it felt like the lyrics to Imagine. It was like, imagine no religion. <laughs> that's, that's the joke. And so I had to do jokes about nothing. <laughs> and I did. And it did not go well? Not good at all. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I was a little insulting, maybe. I, yeah, whatever. What'd you end up doing? Uh, I don't know. I got, I, you know, I... <laughs> they're college kids, so I'm rooting for them, you know? But course, on the yeah, other yeah. hand, they wasn't laughing at any of my jokes, so then I just got angry. <laughs> <laughs> I just got now so you hate mad. Them. Yeah, I, got, I was like, y'all all gonna be working at car dealerships later. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I just, I called all the black players Demetrius and all the white players punters. It was brutal. <laughs> it was... <laughs> It wasn't laughing. I was upset. That's a good joke. That's a good joke. It was, it was, it was joke. solid. It was pretty solid. I gotta admit. Uh, and, uh, and so all the but what did you do? So then, oh, here, about, how about this? After that, I was upset. We went to a Dos Equis party. You know the the, the beer Dos Equis or Dos Equis? Dos Equis. Dos Equis. I say I say Dos Equis. No. Dos, dos Equis. When I know when I've never heard a word pronounced, I just say it like my grandmother would say it. <laughs> Dos Equis. Yeah, Dos Equis. Okay, Dos Equis. But yeah, that's like the most interesting man like that. He was there. <laughs> and I was photobombing him so much because I was, I was upset. I was photobombing him because people were trying to take pictures with him. And then they came over and asked me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> and then they asked me, hey, do you want to take a picture? And I was like, sure. So we're taking a picture. And I'm like, I'm going to mess with this guy. And I was like, hey, man, we're going to go to the strip club after this if you want to join. And he said, okay. <laughs> And I'm like, well, maybe, I guess he's making it up. I didn't really believe it. But then, like, 20 minutes later, his guy comes over and is like, hey, Augie wants to go to the shrimp club. Augie is his name? I think that's what he said. They had accents. <laughs> <laughs> I think his name is Augie the same way I think the beer is Dos, Dos Equis. Dos Equis, yeah. 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 But, no, we, we, so uh, we went to the strip club, me and the most interesting man in the world, <laughs> at an Atlanta strip club at 3 in the morning.
And is he the most interesting man in the world? Dude, he reconnected a father with a son. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> he was amazing. It's this guy... What? At a strip club? He was sitting... We was at the, the club. This is, sounds made up, but please follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Documented it. It really? was awesome. This guy is awesome. He really is interesting. Wow. <laughs> he was over there and he was like, hey man, that guy is with his son right now. And it was just this old white dude and a young white dude. And I was like, that's a little racist and presumptuous. <laughs> and he said, I'm gonna go talk to him. I was like, don't. <laughs> he walks over there and he starts talking to them. At first, they're very uncomfortable. And then they started laughing. And then they started getting lap dances. <laughs> Sounds like the craziest night uh, I've ever even heard of. And then I lost my credit card at McDonald's. <laughs> You're doing it right. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. You know that. I want to write a sketch about that. Yeah, you should write a sketch. <laughs> exactly. Do you, ever, do you still do, do... Would you ever do corporate uh, gigs? Corporate gigs are hard because, you know, you, you, can't, just, you, you can't say anything. Like, I, I did this one gig for this parent company for like, it was, I think it was like Bounty and Febreze and all that stuff. And it had to be super clean, obviously, because it was corporate. <laughs> no pun intended, I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> no, it had to be super clean. And, uh, and uh, also the catch was, you had to say the name of the product in your joke. <laughs> now, Jimmy, this infuriated me. Yeah. Because I was like, there's no way I'm going to ruin my... So I just said the dirtiest, dirtiest, dirtiest jokes I could think of. And then I ended it with... And then we had to wipe it up with Bounty. <laughs> <laughs> and then... <laughs> That's it. That was it. You'll never work for Bounty again. The crowd loved it. Yeah, exactly. Michael Che, everybody. Uh, uh-huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said... And it's on and on and on.